Greetings, this is Jazz for Jazz Reviews, and today we're taking a peek at just 10 of the most terrifying monsters in video games. At number 10. Standing at 10 feet tall, Death Claws are some of the most formidable creatures in the Fallout games. Kicking off my list, though, is the 17 foot razor sharp clawed killer. That is, the legendary Deathclaw. Found in the Deadwind Cavern, in most cases this towering abomination could kill a player with just the one swipe. So approaching this beast was one of the most apprehensive moments in a Fallout game. At number 9, one of the most fast paced zombie games in existence. Left for Dead. The witches of the game have this god-awful way of building suspense through its eerie cries when near, and just as you approach those seemingly passive 12-inch claws, get too close or shine your torch at her and she would relentlessly lash out and kill the player with one hit. She's like a little death claw on her own. The witches could be avoided, but most of the time it became one hectic scenario of intense button mashing until the player was slashed to death. Number 8. A horror phenomenon forged in 2012. The sharp dressed Slender Man. For just a free flash game, Slender Man is in a lot of ways responsible for swaying today's game publishers to take another look at the neglected horror gaming genre. And for good reason too. The paper thin tentacle armed Slender Man scares the shit out of people. He can teleport all over the place and appear just when you're least expecting it. And we're already seeing new titles mimicking this gameplay style. At number 7. What could possibly be horrifying in finding a little baby between the player's crosshairs? Well, in Doom 3's case, there was nothing quite as unnerving as seeing these little infants fluttering around. The cherubs were typically attacking groups, all with insect-type wings and the hindquarters of a fly. And, of course, monstrous sharp claws. It was all rather disturbing to find one of these creatures in your field of vision. And it was very easy to misjudge how far these babies could leap towards you. Brilliant for a few scares. Number 6. Now we descend into true horror games of legendary status. The Resident Evil's Lickers. Definitely one of the most iconic res monsters. Equipped with stupidly long tongues capable of decapitation, Lickers are straight out horrifying. Combined with their wall crawling capabilities and super agility, Lickers are not just intimidating due to their repulsive appearance. Sure, a hunter for example could be argued as more threatening, but a Licker for me will truly always win the beauty contest. At number 5. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. There was one or two things Nemesis had going for it. The intimidating size, horrible T-virus mutations, the fact that he was practically impossible to kill, and that he carried a massive rocket launcher attached to his left arm. Furthermore, this nutjob would pursue Jill throughout most of the game, and could pop up at random times and destroy the player with ease, making him the ultimate bounty hunter. And to be attacked by any one of those tentacles meant imminent death if the player didn't find the purple herbs in time to neutralize the poison. At number 4. The Last of Us. Clicker. Man, that sound stayed with me for quite a while after completing Last of Us. The Clickers were completely blind in their third stage of infection, but in turn they possessed a strength that would surpass any typical human. Using echolocation through these clicking noises, the walking fungi were able to directly maneuver towards Joel, no matter their surroundings. These little gems would advance in a state of absolute frenzy, not so much as flinching at the average bullet wound. Once grappled, if the player didn't possess a shiv to stab the berserkers, Joel or Ellie would get their necks ripped apart in one of the most horrible gruesome ways imaginable. But most of the time, you really just wanted to avoid these mentalists, using the game's stealth to the best of your ability. At number 3. Amnesia, The Dark Descent, The Grunt Gatherers. 
With no hope of escape, the 18th century manor became quite the landmark for the supernatural, and with no weapons or means to defend yourself, the player at first is forced to catch the odd glance of the manor's mysterious servants. Later into the game, however, we discover the grunts are the subject matter of some truly horrific nightmare. A never-ending, nerve-wracking game of hide-and-seek with the ear-piercing, guttural noise-making gatherers. <laughs> Which, if you're so unlucky to see one up close, is one of the most grotesque and stressful experiences you'll go through in a video game. Ultimately, the gatherers were easy to avoid, but in no way does that erase the real fear gamers felt in Amnesia. Oh shit, I have a bag of Milky Way! Ah! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> Getting very close now at number two. There's no escaping this nightmare either. Dead Space Necromorph Slashers. Inspired by John Carpenter's The Thing, a necromorph is essentially a pathogen that reanimates a dead body. You're in terrible, terrible, terrible. The result is something so fucked up. Dead Space deserves all the credit it's earned for these air duct hiding killers. You never quite know when you're gonna see one. Just remember to aim for its many limbs. You'll kill it eventually. And finally at number one. Silent Hill 2, Pyramid Head. One of the strangest manifestations in any horror game is the symbolism of James's fear and guilt in Silent Hill 2. Pyramid Head, the most sinister of horror figures, stalks and torments the player, sometimes directly attacking James. Otherwise, his very presence is enough to instill a cold feeling whenever you hear that distinctive scrape against the stone floor. Just knowing his massive blade is only seconds away. Occasionally popping up in future games, the demonic apron-wearing torturer has attracted a cult following amongst gamers. Pyramid Head is arguably horror's biggest idol in video games, and definitely the most iconic when I think horror survival. This has been Jazz for Jazz Reviews with the top 10 most terrifying monsters in video games. Through the neglected horror genre, we may see an entirely new dimension in gaming now over the next few years. And in many ways, we have these guys to thank for it. For more top 10 lists, subscribe now and visit the channel. I think you'll find what you're looking for. But until next time, stay up to date by following my Twitter, which can be found in the description below. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the comments.